were invited Every part of us Every part of us Holy Spirit You're invited
always get a new perspective when we see Jesus and everything around us slowly becomes invisible when we fix our eyes on the only thing that matters This is your house. Come in and do what you want to do. Fill us when you want to fill us. Speak as you want to speak. Lead as you want to lead. Good shepherd, cornerstone. We build everything upon you, Jesus. We build everything upon Jesus and only Jesus. Lord, forgive us for programming out your person. Lord, forgive us for systemizing and structurally building Without you in mind, Lord, forgive us. Wash us today, Lord. We repent. We return the keys to the bloody hands of Jesus. We return the stone, the living stones, to the bloody hands of Jesus. And we say, Jesus, this is your church. Build your church. Build your church. Have your way in your own house. Have your way in your own house, Jesus be hospitable to you in your own house. We want to host you well in your own house, Jesus. So come in. Come in. <laughs> this is your house. This is your church. This is your house. This is your church. This is your 
your church. This is your house. This is your church. This is your house. This is your church. This is your house. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Because this is your church. This is your house. This is your church. This is your house. This is your church. This is your house. It belongs to Jesus. Everything. This is your church. This is your house. This is your church. This is your house. This is your church. This is your house. It belongs to you, Jesus. Oh, everything is yours. We surrender. We're not the owners. Oh, we surrender. Do what you want to have your way. Jesus.
pray on behalf of all the pastors, lead pastors, worship pastors, executive pastors, and people in ministry all throughout the world. We yield. We yield our platforms. We yield our pulpits. We yield our sermons. We yield our songs. We yield the the flow. We yield the planning center plan, Lord. We yield everything that we prepare for our church services to you, Jesus. Lord, it's your time. It's your time. It's your time to take your place. Blow up the set list, Lord, we ask. Blow up the sermons, Lord, we ask, God. We ask that you would come in and take over in your own house and mess up our plans so that you can bring forth your plans for your people in your time, Lord. We come into agreement right now and we declare all over the world, local churches all over the world, big and small, belong to you, Jesus. They're yours. Doesn't matter how big they are, they're yours. It doesn't matter how small they are, they're yours and you're there. And you're there. Lord, I break off shame right now off of lead pastors that are in shame because their churches are small. Their churches have you. Their churches have you. And because you're there, they're wonderful. Because you're there, they're wonderful. If church doesn't include you, it's a sham. It's a fraud. It's terrible. We invite you back into your own house, Lord, no matter how big or how small. If you're there, forgive us <laughs> for looking at chart positions and famous folks Lord forgive us for wanting a word from a notable pastor we want a word from Jesus we want a word from Jesus <laughs> we want a song from the spirit <laughs> we want you Jesus and not just your hands not just what you have in your pockets to bless us with we want to stare into your beautiful face we want to grab you by the cheeks and refuse to let go we want to press our foreheads to your forehead and we say this is why we came to church to see the builder of the church jesus and only jesus ruin us for everything else lord jesus and only jesus <laughs> ruin us church is about Jesus or it's not church <laughs> revival is not a conference it's a person and his name is Jesus Jesus we want you we cry out to you on behalf of the church today we want you Jesus <laughs> we want you we want you more than our next breath we want you more than the next hit we want you than the next point we want Jesus take center stage <laughs> step into the pulpit <laughs> yeah you lead the ministry <laughs> oh what would it look like if Jesus preached all the sermons what would it look like church if Jesus led all of the worship <laughs> If Jesus was the elder, if Jesus was the deacon, Jesus, we invite you, fill us as your church. Here's the keys, come on in. We give it back to you. I just amazing, but you are the one thing. Not just the main thing. But you are the one thing Not just the main thing But you are the one thing You're not just the main thing But you are the one thing Not just the main thing But you are the one thing Not just the main thing But you are the one thing
want to be moved by you and not by culture we want the one thing the real thing the only thing that sustains us transforms us oh it's Jesus you are the one thing not just the main thing this is our Savior. This is our Savior. Look at Him. Look at Him. This is our Savior. Look at Him. Look at Him. Yeah. This is our Savior. Look at Him. Look at Him. This is our Savior. Look at Him. Keep playing that. I just feel that like the Lord is imparting that, that thing that Mary felt when she was at his feet and Martha was working and doing her thing and Mary is just like do you see what I see <laughs> you know when she was breaking her bow on the feet of Jesus when she was breaking her alabaster box on the feet of Jesus and I can imagine her being like do you see what I see have you felt what I felt did your heart not Son of man, and I'm just reminded of the story in the Bible, and I just want the Lord to do that in us today, that we would be so distracted by his face, that we would be so distracted, distracted by his glory and his presence, that we will look at him and get lost there, that everything else around us that are lesser, that are that are really, they fade in comparison to him, that they would just fall away as we gaze at his face. As we look at him and get distracted, as we get distracted as a church, because Jesus has interrupted all of our plans and he's interrupted our lives. Lord, we say yes. We say yes. Burning us that strong. See, this is, this is our Savior. Look at him. Look at him. This is our
restoring the joy of salvation. <laughs> and it used to be fine serving. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's restoring the joy of salvation. When you were glad to go into the house, when you were glad to go to church, and to talk to him and to walk with him, he's restoring the joy of salvation if you're weary if you're tired he's restoring the joy of salvation back to his bride back to his church he restores the joy of salvation today oh he's restoring the joy of salvation he's giving strength to the weary heart he sees you and he knows
from Revelation chapter 4. As we read the Bible, Jesus, we ask you just to take us by the hand to the place of your face. We want to go to the place of God's face. just want to know the acts of God. We want to know the ways of God. Israel knew God's acts, but Moses knew God's ways. (laughs) Israel turned around so many times. Israel disobeyed. Israel lost heart. Israel complained. They had seen so many miracles. And yet so often, they turned away. They had received so many blessings. And yet so often, they turned away. But Moses, Moses had been set in the place of God's face. And he knew God's ways, which is why he never turned around. He had seen too much. He could never murmur and complain and gossip and be disobedient and retreat back to Egypt. He could never turn around. He had to continue forward because he had seen too much. He knew God's ways. We want to be in the place of your face, God. Like Exodus 33 and Revelation chapter 4, we want to be in that place where We know your ways and all of your goodness passes before us. Hide us in the cleft of the rock today, Lord, and make all of your goodness pass before us. We want to see the glory of the Lord. (laughs) We want to behold the lamb that was slain. We don't want to simply know the acts and the blessings but we want to know the name and the glory we want to know your ways God plant us in the place of your face come on Lord anoint this generation as people who are planted in the place of your face anoint this generation of people with the spirit of revelation in the knowledge of Christ Jesus planted in the place of your face stuck immovable concrete (laughs) in the place of the face of Jesus Christ Lord make us like Moses needing to wear a veil because the glory of the Lord shines through on our faces oh Jesus we have this opportunity even better than what Moses got (laughs) there's an evolution of the glory it's even better it's even better we go from glory to glory to glory (laughs) I, I feel the glory of God right now I know the glory of God right now maybe some of you feel the same thing like I feel it I remember one time telling the Lord, God, I just want to see the glory the way that Moses saw the glory. He said, no, you don't. Because if I showed that to you, you wouldn't be satisfied. There's more available for you today under the new covenant than was ever available for Moses under the old. There's more available, Lord. Make us, make us unable to be satisfied by leftovers, Lord. We don't want yesteryear's glory. We want the glory that's meant for right now the glory that's meant for today the glory that's meant for this moment the glory that you have to pour out upon us right now sit us down in the place of your face sit us down sit us down sit us down make us to lie down (laughs) we've been busy trying to build the church make us to lie down I looked (laughs) and 
after this, I looked <laughs> and behold, a door standing open in heaven. Oh, that glorious door is open before you today, church. door we're up and in now Lord <laughs> we're stepping in Lord we're stepping in Lord <laughs> and the first voice which I heard speaking to me like a trumpet said come up here come up here Come up here. Now once I was in the spirit and behold, a throne stood in heaven with one seated on the throne. And he who sat there had the appearance of Jasper and Carnelian. And around the throne was a rainbow that had the appearance of an emerald. And around the throne were 24 thrones and seated on the throne were 24 elders. And they were clothed in white garments with golden crowns upon their heads. And from the throne came flashes of lightning and rumblings and peals of thunder. And before the throne were burning seven torches of fire, which are seven spirits of God. And before the throne, there was, as it were, a sea of glass like crystal. And before the throne, and before the throne, and before the throne, John repeats this phrase over and over, and before the throne. God, may you find us before the throne. And before the throne, there was Lyle and Dante and Brian and Cam. And before the throne, <laughs> just put your name in there. And before the throne, we are in that place, Lord, and we want to see what John saw. And around the throne, on each side of the throne, are four living creatures full of eyes in front and behind in the first it's like a lion, the second like an ox, the third living creature with the face of a man, and the fourth living creature like an eagle in flight. And the four living creatures, each of them with six wings, are full of eyes all around and within. And day and night, they never cease to say, Holy, 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 holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. I don't know that the picture could get any weirder. But that's what happens when heaven feels his own house. Lord, it's okay with us if you want to let church get weird for a little bit. It's okay with us if you want to let our worship sets get weird for a little bit. It's okay with us, God. It's not going to make sense to the natural mind. We're in the place of his face. It doesn't even matter if it makes sense to the carnal mind because we're in the place of the spirit. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. <laughs> and whenever the living creatures start to give glory, and whenever the living creatures start to bring honor, and when they start to thank Him who is seated on the throne, who lives forever and ever, which is Jesus, the 24 elders start to fall down before Him. Falling down before the one who is seated on the throne, and they worship him who lives forever and ever. And they cast their crowns before the throne and they cry out, Worthy are you, our Lord and God. Worthy are you to receive glory. Worthy are you to receive honor. Worthy are you to receive power. For you created all things. And by your will they existed and were created. Worthy are you to receive money. Worthy are you to receive platforms. Worthy are you to receive all that we have. How about this? Worthy are you to receive our blood. Worthy are you to receive our obedience. Worthy are you to receive the American dream. We throw it on the altar right now and we invite your fire to burn up everything in us that does not bring you glory. we've received. I take it off and I throw it down at the feet of Jesus. All of the honor we've received, we take
take it down and we throw it down at the feet of Jesus. All the blessing, all the breakthrough, we take it off right now and we throw it down at the feet of Jesus. Because it's you, God, that lives forever and ever. And it's you, Jesus, that's worthy, worthy, worthy. And it's you, Christ, Messiah, Son of God, Alpha and Omega, beginning and end, author and finisher, light and the Lamb. It is you.
this If this is what it feels like To be in your presence Oh, I can get used to this I can get used to this It's true It's true say thank you <laughs> thank you for your goodness <laughs> thank you for your grace Jesus thank you for the cross uh, we always have a reason to rejoice even when things are not going my way, I still have access. <laughs> I still have access. Oh, even when I'm broke, I still have access. <laughs> even if I just got fired, I still have access to the face of Jesus <laughs> oh it doesn't matter what's going on in the world I still have access to Jesus <laughs> I still have access to Jesus <laughs> And that's good enough. Oh, Lord, this is good. It is good to be with you, Jesus. And so we say thank you for your goodness and your grace. Thank you, Lord. We pray that everything that you have done and all that you have given during this time that it would revive weary saints all over the world, that it would release revival to local churches all over the planet, that you would lift the heads of weary pastors and leaders and elders and people who have gotten tired and fell asleep along the way, that they would find this prayer room set and they would receive communion and be strengthened for the next couple of decades, Lord, why not? Why not, God? Birth revival in people, Lord. Birth revival in people. Set them on fire again. Set them on fire again. Oh, that's good. I still have access. I like that. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen.